Well, we have our second holster review uh, for this this year. Uh, the first one I told y'all about, uh, I told you I was going to be doing a long-term test on, that I was going to be actually getting an in-the-waistband holster. So that's what I have here today. Um, I'd like to say thank you to DoubleClick Holsters. They're the supplier. Uh, I've done a review for them in the past on a outside the waistband, which I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to see that one. Uh, this particular one is going to be a in the waistband uh, slash appendix rig. Uh, I just got it in, so this is a first look at it. Kind of give you an idea since holsters have been a kind of a big thing for the Steyr pistols. So I will show it to you. This particular one is set up for an L model. They do come in the four variants for length. Um, you can do a single clip, double. You can do like a single in the middle on one side. It, they're adjustable. Uh, the back of this holster has a bunch of nice, uh, kind of like a sinew or deer hide. Uh, might even be uh, a very high-end uh, felt. So it's really soft. There's not, it's not rough kydex. Uh, against you or it's not neoprene. Uh, this here is more of a hide uh, substance. Uh, I'm going to say like a deer hide. The inside of this particular holster, it's just all polished kydex or buffed out. Uh, all the edges have been round out, sanded down. All the hardware are security style star bolts in, inside. They're actually gl uh, glued and covered up on the back so once you have your adjustment or if you call and ask him to for what your setup is it's done you don't have to mess with it but you can peel this off in the back and remove the, the set screws and adjust it where you need to and then lay it back over. Um, the setup for this which we happen to have an L model we'll mess with here You see, I try to give you all the lockup and how it all goes in. So I'll be nice and quiet. You can actually hear the click when it goes in. Uh, double click for most of their name is the first click in. They do make these holsters with a level two style. It has a th uh, a thumb release. It goes over the back. Uh, I know that's been asked a whole bunch for people that are in the security field or law enforcement that want a holster that ha that's level two. Um, this company makes that for you guys. Um, I personally, I don't need one, so I, I did not ask for it that way. It's more of a hindrance for what I'm doing, but I will try to get a picture and put it in this uh, at the end of this video to show you. He actually makes a tail that goes over the whole rear of your gun that is set up uh, just for your thumb to kick off to the side to pull and that's your level two holsters. They do in the waistband and outside the waistband and with this one I'll show you how the pull on it. It, uh, it is pretty tight. I mean this is grabbing all around the trigger as you can tell it's, everything's real tight for, for fitment. It has a little bit of room for if you had the three dot post sights. Your front nose assembly is as close as you'd want it to be and everything's real tight. Your front sight still has some room in case you get a little bit of dirt in there. But it is very, very close. So this holster is as minimum as you're going to get besides not using a holster. The, the actual way that this one sits, for what I've got to test with it, uh, sits real well in the 2 o'clock position on your body. So if you were forward facing, if you set this off at 2 o'clock, which is basically just in between your uh, pants button and your front pocket, the, the contour of the holster fits real well. And then if you run this back into a 3 o'clock, 4 or all the way back to like a five o'clock position around your hip towards your wallet pocket in the back off to your hip. Um, it all seems to fit. It rides uh, rides good and high for appendix in the front. Uh, you might want to adjust this for a in the waistband off to your three o'clock. It sits just a little bit high for me, but that's just an adjustment issue. Uh, just like his first holster that I messed with, 
I, uh, I really got into the depth of how thick this Kydex is. Um, the other holster that I was reviewing, the other Kydex, which is a, um, a Gladius holster, which I actually have here. Um, now this is not a comparison between these two brands, that's, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just using this one because I have it here for their thickness to show you all. The double click holster is about double the thickness on the Kydex to kind of give you all an idea. Um, these holsters are just extremely, extremely overbuilt. Um, I've told people before, I mean, I slam barrier walls with his outside the waistband holster, uh, rolled around in the dirt, and my gun wasn't even dusty. I mean, the thing really protects over it. So his polymer, I'm going to say, I know on the Gladius it's a 0.8 thickness. I'm going to say this one's got to be like a 1.2 or 1.3 in thickness. And it's, it's all over. It's just not one side. It's not like it's the sweat guard that's all the, the heavy. The whole thing, and even the front's uh, rolled, over, rolled over the end of your muzzle. Uh, for protection for sitting down in the car so if like your seat belt hits it or if you're sitting down on a, on a bench you're not digging the muzzle in so I thought that was really nice uh, to protect the front like I said it's right there at the front you if you were running a uh, a threaded barrel you would definitely need this to be a little bit longer or the threaded barrel would stick out but since the holsters were getting to be a popular again, everybody's asking about them. I'm just showing you all this one. I'm going to run it and do a test and review here for a couple months. We'll come back to it. I will give you a heads up at that time if I would consider buying it, keeping it. Um, it's just a good quality holster or not. Uh, we'll do it with a little bit more long-term testing. So... When that time comes, we'll make another video. But if you are interested in checking him out to see what else he offers, he just doesn't make this for styres. Uh, they do Glocks, SIGs, XDs, 1911s. I mean, they'll pretty much they'll build you a holster for any pistol um, that I'm aware of. So if you want something custom or you, or you need to talk to him, uh, you can give Double Click Holster a call. And here is their information. They're USA based out of Texas so check them out there's their info y'all and if you want to see their outside the waistband holster I have pictures of it and I've done a review on that on the channel so check out the Facebook page for the pictures and the YouTube channel which you're on now and watching this nice video you'll actually see it and uh, what I was doing with it with the outside the waistband holster alrighty well I hope it helps y'all and we'll come back to this one after some time